Cool, okay, so the next album is um, by a band called Higher Power, um, which uh, Grant has just confessed to me that he <laughs> forgot to listen to. So I'm going to have to talk about this on my own. So, say, Grant's professional. <laughs> work, is, my professional work ethic. Yeah, his professional work, uh, work ethic showing through there. So, <laughs> um, I'll stop short of calling him a dick. But that's, that's, that's what it, he is. That's um, so, you've already said it. I won't spend too much time on Higher Power, but the album's called 27 Miles Under Water. It's released on the 24th of January this year. And... It's 11 songs and close to 35 minutes long. Um, so, high, Higher Power are sort of hardcore slash alt-rock band. They come from Leeds. This is their second album. follows their debut Soul Structure, which was released in 2017. I haven't heard anything from Higher, Higher Power before this, so I'm, I'm not familiar with their, with their debut album. But... On 27 Miles Underwater, at least, they are doing something quite similar to bands like Turnstile and Angel Dust in that they're infusing a sort of hardcore style with um, with alt-rock. And those are both styles of music that I really like, so this is kind of right up my street. The album opens with the song Seamless, which is just a really awesome opening song. Um, there's like massive chainsaw riffs in the start, and then the drums, the bass, and the vocals all kind of smash in together with that sort of face-melting hardcore intensity. But um, the chorus is much more melodic, um, sort of Queen vocals singing, um, and I wish it was as seamless as it seemed inside my head. And it's quite a soothing chorus compared to the sort of all-out battery of the, um, the verse. The vocals remind me quite a lot of um, Perry Farrell who's the front man of Jane's Addiction and Jane's Addiction are a sort of weird alt rock band from the 90s mm-hmm. and um, if you've heard any of their music Jane Says in particular is quite uncanny on that song and some other Jane's Addiction songs like Mountain Song or Just Because you'll hear some guitar tones that are not too dissimilar to Higher Power so there's a, there's a, there's a really big like 90s alt rock influence here the next track, Shading Skin, has got really open. Um, it's got this kind of bounce with screeching guitar picking, grinding riffs, and again, it's got a really melodic chorus, which is just quite a lot of fun to sing along to. Other songs like Lost in Static and Rewire 101, they've got a driving intensity and sense of melody in the vocals that really hooked me in, and it's just a great mixture of hardcore screaming and melodic clean singing. And I think there's probably as much clean parts as screaming parts right. um, sometimes there's more screaming than kind of melodic vocals in this um, in sort of hardcore bands and whatnot. But, but there's a really good balance between those two different types of singing and often it's the chorus that the queen singing comes in on perhaps my favourite song on the album is a song called Low Season it's just got these really cool sort of picked um, razor sharp guitar lines and another kind of big melodic chorus with sort of depressing lyrics of um, I'm low, so low, can't get up, I'm still falling. And uh, yeah, I just love singing along with that. It's it's, it's so catchy. Um, there's influences from bands like Refused um, on the opening riff for Passenger. Um, there's, you know, you might hear a bit of Alice in Chains thrown in there. And uh, towards the end of the album, there's a track called In the Meantime, which is pretty much an acoustic ballad. Um, but it sounds a lot like Angel Dust's most recent album, Pretty Buff. Now, Angel Dust are a sort of hardcore band, similar to Turnstile, who on their most e- recent album just became a sort of acoustic-driven hardcore band, which is a strange concept. Oh, they, they're, they're, strange set, they're performing sort of hardcore, s- the pace of hardcore songs acoustically Acoustic. with clean vocals. Whereas they were, so what's that? What does that setup look like? Is it acoustic bass, I, acoustic I, guitar? I can't say I've really looked into right. it, but it's um, you know all the fuzz and reverb and distortion is all stripped away, um, right. so it's quite a cool thing. Definitely worth right. worth a listen. And um, there's even a bit of corn that shows up at one point on um, the the album closer, drag the line. So um, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in this album. It's not perfect. Um, it can be a bit samey every now and again, but if you're looking for just like 
some big riffs and a bit of screaming and a bit of melody could find far worse than higher power. So I'd give this an eight. Are you a ten? Yeah. Because I think for people like me who like hardcore and alt rock, then yeah, I think this is a, a must listen album of that crossover like Turnstile. Cool. After you've a listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I think you'd probably quite like it. Mm-hmm.